Good morning, fellow diabetics. It's important not only to watch what we eat and stay on our low-carb, high-fat, and we don't call it a diet, we call it a lifestyle. So another thing for myself that's important is keeping busy and get some daily exercise every day, even if it's just walking up and down the steps or up and down the hallway in your house. But anyways, today we're going to look at some recipe cards, uh, recipes that you can, you can download or you can just take your laptop or your tablet and take it into the kitchen and make the recipe from there. Or you can um, Take a picture of it on your cell phone or send it to your email and print it out. So lots of options. But anyway, the group that we are... Oh, what is this now? Getting messages. Okay. The group that we are referring to is the... Type 2 Diabetes Support Group Favorite Recipes, and that's a group that's on Facebook. And then our main group is called, uh, it's down here, Type 2 Diabetes Support Group, which is also on Facebook. That group is mostly for talking about diabetes, and if you have questions that you would like to have answered, we have people that can help you. And the way that we follow is the low carb, high fat way. So that's what our recipes are all about too. So let's check this out. All right, first we've got um, The Thousand Island Dressing. I'm not going to go into detail on these because you know where you can find them now. And the only thing I wanted to mention on this one is that we're using chopped dill pickles instead of pickle relish and sugar-free ketchup. All right, let's go on. Here's a meatball soup. Get this out. It looks like it's Spanish or Mexican. Yeah, it uses chorizo. All right. A low carb Alfredo sauce. I can get a little closer with that one. Okay. Almond flour pie crust. Bacon wrap Brussels sprouts, homemade baking powder, cornstarch and aluminum free. You probably can find aluminum free, but I doubt you can find any cornstarch free. So here's the recipe for that. You just keep it on your pantry like you do, or in your pantry like you do regular baking powder. Full banana bread where we use banana extract, no real bananas, which are extremely high carb and high in starch. Okay, uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce, beanless chili. People always argue that beans have fiber. That may be true, but that doesn't mean they're low carb, so they're still going to affect your blood sugar. <clears throat> okay, low carb beef and broccoli, beef snow peas, and cauliflower rice. Okay, chocolate mug cake, dried beef gravy, breakfast casserole with bacon, brown sugar substitute. All right, he uses, um, or this recipe uses uh, maple extract. But uh, Torini and Da Vinci, I think it's called, Coffee syrups, if you want to look on Amazon, they have 
products you can substitute like uh, brown sugar cinnamon and I think there's also a gingerbread um, but of course a gingerbread may be seasonal but that is what I have used in the past to substitute for brown sugar all right uh, bunless bacon egg and cheese throw it in the pot soup cabbage kielbasa this is Polish cabbage rolls uh, I have some Hungarian in my family so they make these with sour cabbage which has been put in brine and they also use lots of paprika okay candied Brussels sprouts <clears throat> with rutabaga and pecans okay cauliflower pecan stuffing chicken Madeira chicken pot pie chicken broth which is good uh, to keep your energy it's like a, a, a broth like that will um, give you energy if you're feeling fatigued and it's also a good uh, what else oh it will fill you up in between your meals sesame chili oil chocolate mug cake cloud bread one of the things we use to separate or to substitute for store-bought bread another chocolate mug cake macadamia crust cheesecake coconut flour pie crust Coney Island sauce cowboy skillet cream of chicken soup with bacon low carb creamy soup base eggnog crispy fried eggplant full cornbread Dorito style chips full potato soup French Asian chicken bake Indian fry bread garlic bok choy green tomato salsa Indian butter chicken jalapeno popper Hasselback chicken kohlrabi crisps or chips uh, biscuits lemon and thyme roast chicken low carb maple syrup low carb marinara sauce low carb mayonnaise stuffed patty pan squash peanut butter brownies pecan pie green relish pizza sauce pumpkin roll low carb ranch low carb Russian dressing Sarah's tomato soup sesame chili oil low carb shepherd's pie shrimp parmesan and this is a fast way of making or baking a turkey spicy chicken stir fry spiced pumpkin soup spinach artichoke chicken spinach artichoke dip stuffed Italian or Italian meatballs stuffed pork tenderloin Texas peanut butter sheet cake tortilla chips turnip chips turnip hash browns low carb waffle whipping cream low carb Worcestershire sauce zucchini walnut bread well, this is the time to make that, especially if you have a garden. Boston butt roast, ricotta with spinach. What is a chaffee? Now that's good because I don't know what it is. Shall we see? Okay. Low carb waffle with cheese. Rather than using flour, 
We use cheeses like mozzarella, cheddar, and Colby to give the waffle its shape. They're so popular on low-carb lifestyles because they taste like a waffle. All right, good to know. It's kind of like probably the fat head pizza crust, which is made with cheese. Okay, cream cheese muffin with fruit, and he's only using one fourth a cup of blueberries, which is allowed if you've got your blood sugar in control. Coconut chicken with full pineapple rum sauce. Okay, what's he using? Probably a extract, right? Pineapple extract. Now that might seem like, you know, a weird ingredient or hard to find, but you'll probably find it on Amazon. They have all that kind of stuff. All right, and that's that. We went through those recipes, and I hope they're helpful. I hope what I'm posting, my videos are helpful to you, especially if you're a diabetic, even if you're type 1. Eating this way will help. You may not get off your medication, but you will possibly lower it if you stick to this lifestyle. So please subscribe if they're helpful, and even if they're not, I put a lot of hours into doing those, so do me a favor and subscribe and, and share and like. And God bless you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.